All right, so I know I haven't done a vlog in a long, long time, but I swear everything is great in my life. Right now, I'm about to ignore our new cardio machines. As you can see, we have a uh, stair climber of sorts and a treadmill. I have not partaken in either yet. I'm gonna go out and hit the streets. I got my bike right here, and I figure, you know, I wanna go find some spots in my hood. So I'm about to go check out some colleges and schools and just try to find some stuff to ride, and I guess if I do anything, you guys are gonna find about it in this vlog. Okay, so I'm out here at my first spot of the day. This is a college that I have uh, never ridden before, at least that I can remember. I might have been here back in the day. I thought it was kind of hard to keep these things straight in your brain when you've been to so many damn places. But anyway, I'm going to head up in here, see if there's anything to ride. I'm going to bring the tripod with me, which is going to kind of kill my vibe. Obviously, it's less fun to ride around when you've got a tripod in your hand. But I'm going to make the best of it. I'm going to show you guys what they got going on in here. In a situation like this, best case scenario is that I find something with a lot of wax on it because that's the kind of thing that I got the best chance of getting a clip on it. Holy shit, I have found a little number. Honestly, look at this thing. It's beautiful. It's been blackened. There's only one problem, which is that there's not really that much room to land right here without rolling into that dirt. But I do see over here that we have another one, which actually has a very similar problem. But I think I can figure out something to do. Nothing too pretty, but I did get it done. There's a weird part of me that wants to try to do an ice pick right now. Now, I'm not sure how that's gonna go because I can barely manual right now. I haven't done a manual in a few years, but I'm feeling it. I don't want to see how the ice pick feels. This ledge is so buttery that we just, we got to give it a shot. I think I was getting a little ahead of myself there. Ice pick could definitely work. I think I'm gonna practice the manuals a bit before I get real serious about doing them on my back pay, so. I'm obviously never gonna do a curved wall ride. Never mind a tiny, crazy curved wall ride like this. But there's definitely people out here that would hop on to that second level and wall ride around the entire thing. So I'm just saying, if you need the spot, I got you. I don't want to get too close to the skaters. But you saw that motherfucker almost make that shit? That was hard. Anyway, there's a really, really, really good rail right here. Holy shit, this thing's amazing. I am not going to do this rail, but look at this rail. Yeah, I'm definitely not doing this today, but great rail. Beautiful rail, both sides. All right, when I said that I wasn't ready for the ice pick and that I needed to work on some manuals, this is the exact kind of situation I was talking about. I need to manual this ledge. And I'm not gonna be very happy with myself until I do, so let's set this camera up and let's go for it. Oh. There's a big part of me that wants to try to 180 out, but I'm gonna take my time with this shit. I'm not ready yet. All right, now I'm back at that ledge where I started because my friends Scott and Dustin are about to pull up. I don't think either of them are really known to people that watch these vlogs. Scott, to a certain extent, Dustin, you probably don't know, but it'll be good to have some company. Back him up. Right here. Oh. 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 It wasn't pretty, but I did it. And I'm gonna take it, even though it was not the best rollback, but it was all switch, so I'm willing to accept it. All right, so I was actually having enough fun in there that I kind of forgot I was doing a vlog, but uh, basically, Russell, this is Russell. He used to work at our old shop on some shit downtown LA. He did at least a year there. Uh, I haven't seen him in a couple years, so that's kind of crazy to see him back in the flesh. He's actually riding super good. 
Uh, and then Dustin is like totally crisping up some amazing clips. I can't believe I just did that on camera. Wow, that was really, really dumb, even by my standards. Productive session on the ledge. We're headed over to that perfect rail that I was talking about earlier. I don't know if anybody actually knows that I'm vlogging and I plan on trying to keep it that way because vlogs are sometimes kind of weird for the vibes, but let's see if Dustin wants to smoke with this rail. We were all pedaling through here, just sort of looking around, and we all said the same thing. Is that a toilet? And so the other one, multiple toilets being repurposed to take care of the plants. What will they think of next? Ooh. Hey, guy. with you I got bored of filming all of them so I went over and I kept working on the manual 180 and uh, I did the actual manual which I was pretty hyped on before I did it about like 30 more times and I tried the manual 180 once and I kind of smacked my ankle and it hurt but I definitely got that trick so I'm definitely gonna come do it again soon some upcoming weekend but I didn't really have anybody filming and shit so I didn't feel that motivated but I'm coming back for it all right so pretty much just hung out at that college again for a while now it's 3 30 so i'm gonna head into the office i'm here back in my office uh, i'm about to stream some poker uh, i know i've always live streamed and just sort of played music from you guys which has always been fun to be honest but i mean it does get a little boring as well so the poker is really helping to spice it up a bit uh, i haven't gotten into any crazy tournament runs on stream yet but i did win one the other day and won like 900 bucks so it was a 50 dollars tournament like 60 people or some shit like that so 900 bucks shit i ain't mad at that i wish that i had done it on live stream but i just did it while i was like sitting in my office fucking answering emails and actually it ran so long that i had to log out on my computer and log in on my phone and play like the last hour and a half two hours of the tournament on mobile while i was in rush hour traffic which i know i'm admitting to a crime there but whatever um crazy anyway if you haven't tuned into one of my streams in a while i would just say you might want to check them out again if you like poker because it's at least fun and interesting although unfortunately now we're on a delay so i'm like 10 minutes behind on the chat so i never know what the foot the chat is talking about because there's a 10 minute difference but whatever i'm gonna do that if there's anything interesting i'm gonna show it to you guys hopefully this is enough to actually put out a vlog i miss you guys i love you guys hopefully i could do more vlogs i promise i've just been working working on new no jumper content working on everything so I, I just hope that you guys all know that i have a lot of really really good content coming in the near future even though it's been a little slow at least on this channel actually this channel made 800 dollars last month which is the least that this channel has ever made ever so hopefully i'll make enough video content that this channel won't make 800 dollars in the near future some say that vlogging your postmates is tomfoolery vlog noob shit well I call it fun. The skirt steak from Bossa Nova with the uh, sweet potato fries, fried plantains, and mixed vegetables is a great treat for you or anyone else ever. One time a guy came up to me in the airport and told me that he was one of the owners of Bossa Nova, and I was like kind of hungover and like not really feeling it, so I like didn't really talk to him that much. And sometimes I think about how I should have got like a Bossa Nova card from him or something, so I, like they have to have some sort of black card, right? All right. So we got one uh, under under the gun, all in for two seventy five. We'll of course be going all in over the top. You are gonna have to fold. Oh my god, that hurts. Damn, where was that nine? Put this guy to a fucking rough decision. Yeah, fuck it, right? Got to do it. Jack six. Uh oh, tens. Jack, holy shit, that's amazing. Yes, we took someone out that we really didn't deserve to take out, which is always something that we're going to have to do repeatedly to, uh, to win this. So that was nice. So now I have a weird situation where I should probably call if nobody else calls. Yeah. I'm getting two to one. I got to risk a fourth of my stack, but let's run it. Okay. 
Yes. Yes. <laughs> Let's send it. Boom. I got foes coming with your high cards. Can you do it? No, you can't. Ooh, all right. I can probably call that, right? Hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh, I would have been good against the one guy. Ooh. All right. Glad I did not call that. Ooh. Oh. Oh. This is how we win the tournament. We get rockets over and over and over. Why is the small blonde sitting out? Please do something. Oh, he's back. He min raises. Well, how about that? I'm going to fucking min raise you, buddy. I mean, not really, but kind of. Um, Man, this would be glorious if somebody shoved over the top or... No. All right, what about you, bud? Not a scary flop. Not even a little bit. Let's see if we can get an extra 400,000 of them. Oh, he wants the smoke. Holy shit. Is he sitting here with 6-7? Is he sitting here with 3-4? Um, at this point, yeah, we definitely... Obviously, we got to just go all in. No snap call? No snap call? Means he's got something stupid? Please, I would like to win this hand. 51 players left. Dip into the time bank. Whatever he's thinking about. Tens, yes! Oh my god. Oh my fucking. And just like that, we are absolutely dominating this table. And we got another good hand. Let's do this. Holy shit, look at this guy with. Oh. Dude. And he folds, because why not? Let me get another one through here, bud. <sighs> well, I cannot do that. All right, well. Let's do this. There we go. God damn it, everybody's abusing me. Ace King, though, so, you know, really, that's okay. Come on, Ace King. Mm. Jacks still in the game. Praying that we can get this guy in. No, no dice. All right, two, five, five. Let's hope we get some folds. Hmm, just a call. That is odd. Oh my god! But then we just get the best fucking flop ever. I'm gonna check raise him. I, bet, I think he's gonna bet. Don't you think? I mean, it's a way too... Oh, it's kind of an oversized check raise, huh? What does he have that... Ugh, I don't know how I feel about that. Well. Oh my god. I am a fucking luck box. Poker is rigged. Um, Ignition Casino has decided that they want me to win this, casino, this uh, tournament so that... It'll look a little look good for their uh, their audience. They know what they're doing. This is rigged. 100%. Go all in. Please think that there's a chance that I'm folding. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Please have, please just have like the worst thing ever, but definitely don't have aces. Yes. <laughs> Fuck. Dude. Dude. How am I running this table? Look at my stack compared to everybody else. This is actually getting kind of crazy. Let's play some actual poker. I know that's not something I plan on doing a ton of here, but I feel like I can take the 300K hit to see this flop, right? Or unless this guy's gonna go all in. Yeah, fuck it. Oh man. <laughs> well, if he's got Ace King, we knew what we were doing. We knew we were getting ourselves into a weird spot. Can he fold again? Because this is exactly what I did to him last time. Oh my god, and he folds again. We are dominating this table, dude. What? Am I doing myself any favors here? It's a tiny percentage of my stack, and I'm getting five to one, right? All right. Wow. Now, 
I am in a position where I want a better value, which is the exact thing that I was just saying that I hope that he didn't do. <laughs> Fuck you. I know you got an ace. Oh my god, you don't even have that. Oh my god, I made a fucking... <laughs> I want to play just him, but should I just raise and then fold if he... I'm just gonna raise and if he fucking re-raises, I'm over it. I mean, you could just call, but my behavior so far does not indicate that I'm gonna let you just check it down. And all of a sudden I have a hand that I want to bet again. Dude, fuck it, I'm going for it. This is my way of telling you that I have top pair. If you go all in, I'm really not going to know what to do. If you have eight, nine of clubs, you probably, okay. Wow. Another banger. Dude, 8.8. 9.2. Whoops, I spoke too soon. 30 players left. Can we raise to 400,000 here? Let me know in the chat if this is a uh, crazy raise. Oh my God, this guy's all in. That's great. Hopefully everybody else folds. I think that given my sack size, the the 400K raise, easy decision. And to be honest, if one of these 2 million size-ish guys goes all in, I kind of got a decision to make because I'm getting crazy-ass pot odds. Yeah, like if this guy goes all in, what? I got to call 12 or 1.2? It's nothing. All right, perfect. Let's see. Ace queen, that's what we thought. And you're going to need some help here. Yeah. Oh, no. The six was the one out I wasn't thinking about. Oh, my God. Okay, well, you got to lose some hands. This guy should be going all in with everything, and I'm definitely calling with. Yeah, okay. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, my God. I got the three. No, and it doesn't count. If he does. Actually, to be honest, if he does, it's still a no-brainer. Okay, great. <sighs> Everybody's running the clock out. All right, here we go. Let's do it with the King Ten of Hearts. Valentine's Day, man. Where is the run good? Holy shit, that's a decent flop. Please. Fuck. Damn. That was unfortunate. Here we go. We got to get three players to fold, but we got a decent hand. All right, 896. Let's see what he's got. All right, I like it. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, guys. We're going to have to do a lot more of that. No, actually, you know what? I want them to know that they have no fold equity, so I'm going to just go all in. I feel like I say fold equity too much. 684K. He's the little stack, so we're totally not worried about him. If this guy wakes up with Ace Jack, we're kind of bummed. Hopefully, we got two live cards against this dude. Everybody knows that I'm abusing my giant stack. Okay. Mmm. Spades. Damn. Well, I like it. I think I'm just going to uh, just raise. And I know that raising to three times the big blind is a little out of the ordinary, but I don't know. Look at this. I'm acting like I got a really strong hand, bro. Everybody's been shoving. These fucking blinds are huge. 900. You can definitely push. You can. Okay. You cannot. Boom. Ace eight. King Jack. Fuck. We need an eight. An ace or a three, I mean. Fuck. Okay. The middle. If this guy pushes, I guess I got a decision. But here, this is easy. Even though he can comfortably call me with king ten. If he called right now and got king, and had King-10 and I still beat him, that would be... To me, King-10 is like definitely winning this matchup. No? All right. I'm going to go all in if it falls to me, even though I really, really don't want this guy to call. But we got to do it, man. Please don't look me up. Please don't look me up. I know you got 10-3. <gasps> oh, no! Oh, man, that really sucks. Terrible run out. Wow, I finished 10th. Damn, I tangoed with the wrong guy. 183 bucks. All right. Well, that was fun. I'm out of here. I love you all.
Appreciate you all. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Peace.